Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Healthy Hour podcast. We warmly welcome our listeners to embark on a journey of health and wellness. I'm one of your hosts, and I go by DQ, and I'm currently an epidemiologist who's been with the health department for over the last three years. And I'm your other host, Andrew, and I also work for the Department of Health. I'm currently a public health fellow, and I've been with the Department of Health for two years. Now, in our first episode, you will learn about the vision and purpose of the Healthy Hour podcast. We will be featuring our first guest, with that guest being the Commissioner of Health for Orange County, Dr. Pointer. And she will be discussing her journey to becoming the Commissioner of Health and the goals she wishes to achieve in the county. We will also be giving an overview of each division that is involved with the Department of Health. And lastly, we will talk about the upcoming topics that we plan on discussing throughout the year. So sit back, relax, and get ready for an inspiring and informative journey. Once again, we extend a warm and cheerful welcome to all of you. Let's make the Healthy Hour a transformative experience for everyone involved. Let's begin with our vision and purpose for creating this podcast. We intend to dive deep into the Public Health Month themes by engaging in insightful conversations with health partners, county workers, individuals with lived experience, and representatives from local organizations. Together, we'll uncover current health challenges in our county, explore positive happenings going on already in our area, and empower our community with knowledge on prevention and improvement strategies. With our vision for the Healthy Hour podcast now revealed, this is the perfect moment to present our first guest. We are honored to have Dr. Pointer as our first guest on the Healthy Hour podcast. Dr. Pointer is an accomplished public health professional with an extensive background in healthcare and a deep commitment to improving the well being of communities. Currently, she serves as a Commissioner of Health at the Department of Health in Orange County, New York. So please join me in giving a warm welcome to Dr. Pointer. Okay, Dr. Pointer, let's get into it. We'd like to hear more about your journey into public health. Can you share with us how you got started and the key moments that led you to become the Commissioner of Health? Of course. My interest in public health started out pretty early in my career. I got my master's in public health when I was in medical school, and my first job as a pediatrician was in Springfield, Massachusetts. I worked with children who were refugees and with a program that taught kids and families about healthy nutrition and exercise. And both of those experiences really drove home for me the importance of those childhood community environments that affect kids' health for the rest of their lives. Then about seven or eight years ago, my family moved to the Hudson Valley and I became a pediatrician in Orange County. I think public health at its core is really about things like disease prevention, health promotion, and creating the conditions that kids and families need to be as healthy as possible. I think all pediatricians do that in some way in their day-to-day jobs. As I listened to my patients and their families, I realized that a lot of what they needed to be healthy were things that were outside of the exam room, outside of where I practiced. And I gradually began to get involved in these pieces of public health that I came to know later as the Orange County Health Department. For me, and I think for most pediatricians that started early on with early intervention program, so referring kids for developmental services and support, especially for our youngest residents, and our childhood-led prevention program run by the Environmental Health Division and Community Health Outreach. As I became chief of pediatrics, I became more involved with our nurses in our patient services division, doing things around the measles outbreak and around immunizations for kids and teens. And the more I listened to our families, especially during COVID, the more involved I got with those kinds of opportunities. So families would tell me about their teens' experiences with depression and anxiety. And I talked to the Department of Mental Health about things that we could do around teen mental health during COVID and outside of COVID. Or families were concerned about their access and their kids' access to healthy food. So I became more involved with our farmer's markets and our produce prescription program. I loved my pediatric patients. I really enjoyed working with our families. But I found as my career progressed, my focuses and my energy moved more outside of the exam room towards some of these community health issues. Dr. Pointer, what would you say are some of the most pivotal moments or experiences that shaped your career and helped you advance to your current position? 
when I started as a pediatrician in Orange County, I, for the first year, I was all over the place. So depending on the day of the week, I would be in Washingtonville, Pinebush, Port Jervis, Middletown. And in Pinebush, I decided that we should have a support group for new parents. So I put up flyers, we got food, I had discussion cards made up, very exciting, and nobody came. And of course they didn't come because I didn't really talk to parents enough about what they needed and what they wanted. And I didn't spend enough time engaging other community organizations and groups who were doing the same thing and learn from their experiences. Someone at the time that I did talk to, I think, took pity on me and said, have you thought about talking to the Orange County Parenting Coalition? So I did. And I met this amazing group of people, educators, early childhood specialists, people who worked for different county departments, who were really working together long term with families to help make the job of parenting easier by supporting families where they were. And that experience, first of all, taught me some really important public health lessons about how to engage communities and the people working with them, and also introduced me to this team of people doing wonderful work, many of whom I work with today as health commissioner to help improve the health of Orange County. It's inspiring to see how your passion for public health has driven your career forward. As the commissioner of health, what do you hope to achieve and how do you plan to make a difference in the community? I think there are a lot of opportunities to improve and support health in Orange County. But I can't do it alone, and we don't want to do it alone. So one of my goals is to help build and strengthen those relationships with our community partners. That includes healthcare providers, educators, community-based organizations. It also includes community members who are our most important partners in doing this work. One example of something we've done so far is we recently purchased a mobile health unit to help us reach some of those areas of the community where maybe we haven't in the past and make it easier for people to get in touch with us and get their needs met. I tell everyone I talk to that my door is always open, and I hope that people really take advantage of that. We want to hear from people what positive things are happening around health in their communities and what we at the Department of Health can do to support that. Dr. Pointer, we truly appreciate you for taking the time to join us today as our first guest on the Healthy Hour podcast. Your journey in public health and your dedication to improving community health is truly inspiring. So we just want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, as we transition into the next segment, we'll be discussing the different divisions within the Department of Health and their respective roles in addressing the health needs of our community. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the work being done to create a healthier environment for all. In this section, we will be diving into the Department of Health and exploring its various divisions and their responsibilities. So let's get started. To begin, we'll start with the Community Health Outreach Division, which focuses on connecting with the community to promote health and prevent diseases. Their responsibilities include organizing health education programs, providing resources, and building partnerships with community organizations. Early Intervention Services is dedicated to identifying and addressing developmental delays and disabilities in young children. This division coordinates services such as speech therapy, physical therapy, and other support services for families in need. The next division we'll discuss is the Emergency Preparedness Division, and they are responsible for planning, coordinating, and managing public health emergencies. This includes natural disasters, disease outbreaks, and other crises that can impact public health. The Epidemiology Division investigates and monitors the patterns and causes of diseases in the population. This division plays a crucial role in identifying health trends, controlling outbreaks, and informing public health policies. Another division that we will discuss is the Environmental Health Division, which ensures the safety and well-being of the community by monitoring environmental hazards and enforcing regulations. This division is responsible for inspecting food establishments, controlling vector-borne diseases, and managing various water treatment facilities to ensure they uphold the New York State Code. The next division we'll discuss is the Fiscal Division, and they manage financial resources and ensure the efficient allocation of funds to support public health initiatives. Amidst the challenges like the COVID-19 pandemic, the Fiscal Division plays a crucial role in maintaining the financial health of hospitals and health systems. 
The Health Equity Division is committed to reducing health disparities and promoting equal access to healthcare services. This division works to address social determinants of health, such as income, education, and housing to create a healthier and more equitable community. Another division we'll discuss is the Medical Examiner Division. They're responsible for investigating and determining the cause of sudden, unexpected, or violent deaths. This division plays a critical role in public safety, infectious disease control, and the administration of justice. The last division we'll be talking about is the Public Health Nursing Division. The Public Health Nursing Division provides essential nursing services to the community. This includes immunizations, health screenings, testing and treatment for sexually transmitted infection, as well as the management of communicable diseases. We hope this brief overview has provided you with valuable insight into the different divisions of the Department of Health and the vital roles they play in our community. By working together, these divisions contribute to the overall well-being and health of our population. As we wrap our first episode of The Healthy Hour, we'd like to give you a sneak peek at the exciting topics we'll be discussing throughout the year. We'll be covering important subjects such as Black maternal health, mental health, STI awareness, men's health, and a summer activity special. These topics will help inform, educate, and empower our listeners to make healthier choices and improve their overall well-being. We want to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all of you for tuning in to our first episode of the Healthy Hour podcast. Your support means the world to us, and we hope you found today's discussion informative and engaging. Please remember to subscribe to our podcast through YouTube and share it with your friends and family so they too can join us on this journey toward better health. We look forward to having you with us next episode, and we'll dive deeper into the world of public health. Thank you and take care.